Uh, yes, I'm there now. I'm, de I'm there now. Yes, I'm there now. Yes, yes, I'm there, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, 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 yes. All right, wonderful people. I salute you all once again today. Salute you all once again today. Um, I want to get to Biafran Television Channel 1 uh, because I want our people to hear everything that I'm going to say today. I want our people to get the information uh, what is what I'm about to say today and um, what am I doing today like I said of course I think I'm bright Solomon you are welcome I want to get to the some. Um, I have to get there first before I will begin to, you know, preach the gospel of freedom to our people. Ndubisi, <clears throat> Annie, you are welcome. I have to get to the my page just give me some minute because I have to fix things here before I will continue before I will continue wonderful people great people of Biafra you are welcome once again. In the name of Chukwu Kikabi Amapuri Mihenine. Onye keli fenine kere kene no wa mano wano ye keli anu. Obo onya ina wisi ananye. Obo onya ina eke no uko obo na weyana si Chukwu Kike. Biadu banyi banyu me. I want to call people's name. Please I want people to write their names. I want people to write their names so that I can be able to call our people. It's very, very important. I call the people that they are here uh, because it's not easy. I'm not saying that I know it all, uh, but believe you me on this Biafran Restoration Project, I know a little bit. That is why I have to tell you what is going on. You know, there is a, I want to, you know, put this issue in this form that I'm coming here to tell our people about this, our struggle, and those people that are using Mazin Nam the Oku Chukukano for their political ambition. That is something that we are going to talk about today. It does not matter who you are. I'm going to also talk about we are going to analyze the video or the message of Soludo. We are going to also use one of our lawyer, a lawyer that really explain because uh, there are some things that our people don't even understand. We are going to also discuss about the reason why Jonathan lost that election. Not that he did not win the election. But there is the help of Obama. I will, we are going to talk about it also today. 
I'm going to also talk about the, the message. I saw a message. I'm going to read it out. A message from um, Nyeso Mwike. You know, there is something about our people. There is something about our people. And I'm also going to read out a message from Aloy Ijimako. I'm going to put it also, everything out here. Uh, yes, I'm going to put everything out here. So I want our people to begin to connect the dots. Let me call people's name. Uh, who are they? Kingsley K. You are welcome. Shinyere. Doom Shinyere. You are welcome. I want people, Kingsley K, once again, God bless Mazen Namdekano. Today, now today, of course, today, now today, Shinyere. I'm going to say a lot of things because uh, there is something about our people that uh, maybe tomorrow you will still hear what, he, what they call him. Yes, uh, hope that is killing in our land today in Imo State. Tomorrow, maybe hope or them will come out again and say that uh, they should release Mazen Namdekano. And all of them, they will run 440 and also go and tell Mazen Namdekano that hope or them that is killing our people now is asking for the release of our leader. That is something I don't even understand. That is something I don't even understand. That is something I don't even understand. That we have leadership. Some of you people, and I'm also going to bring a voice note. Uh, Wanda Karo Gold, I greet you. Thank you. Good morning from here. Wanda Karo Gold, I greet you. Good morning. Uh, here is afternoon. I also say good afternoon to you. Um, you see, like what I'm saying, tomorrow, believe you me, you will see it tomorrow. Hope who's or them will come out and say that they should listen to Mazen Nandekano. They will also run and tell Mazen Nandekano that hope who's or them must say it. Shuku Kaobi, you are welcome. Oh no, who Ibo? Is he the same? Oh no, who Ibo that I know? I don't know. She drag. Oh no, who Ibo? She drag. You are welcome. Um, that is why I'm here so that we can be able to connect the dots. So because we have to, the dots are wise. Of course, the dots are wise. That is why I'm supporting the dots. Uh, but that does not mean that we are not going to say things the way it is. We say things the way it is and always down the consequences. That is why I am the beer franchise watching again. You know. Uh, you know, you are doing a great job, my brother. Who is this? Uh, Omo, uh, Omo uh, Abalu, Abalu TV. I can't pronounce that. The other one, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so that is why we have to conscience ourselves when we are going to Mazin Namdekano to deliver a message to him. We must use our common sense. You know, there is something I always tell my people. Let me use this as a preamble before I will introduce myself. Um, I always tell my people, you see, when you are talking about education, you know, some people don't even understand what is education. Sometimes you will see people that they, the doctor, uh, a, you know, they attach doctor with their name, philosopher, they attach a professor, engineer with their name. Sometimes our people always see those people as people that they are so learned. No, that is not the way it is. When you are talking about freedom fighting, it's not that way. You see, you are engineer is because of the kind of field what you learn in your school. Okay? There is difference between you see, let me put this in, in one group. Philosopher, or you, you study philosophy. Engineer, you know, professor, or doctor. This is what you practice. There is difference between all these things that I mentioned now with thinker. You see, when you see that somebody is a thinker, it's different. You see, thinker is inborn. Okay, when you are a thinker, but why education help us plus that thinker is that before when you go out out there before you will see our ancestors, they have already, you know, you know, uh, bring some things out to show us like the kind of food or the way they, they worship their ancestors and everything is working for them. Only what education did for us is for us now, what we are thinking in our mind, we can be able now to put it on note. 
But I want to tell you people this. According to Soludo, Soludo came out because he is a governor. Begin to tell us that uh, they should give him Mazen Namdekan so that he will be the shorty of Mazen Namdekan. Which is very, very wrong. A man that you know that they have already discharged every case. They have already trashed all the case against Mazen Namdekano. And at the same time, you are telling them to release Mazen Namdekano to you. Whenever they want him, you are going to give them back Mazen Namdekano. You see what I'm saying? But when you ask Soludo, of course, Soludo is a governor of Anambra State. I'm not going to, that we are not going to shy away from that. He is a governor from where I'm, I mean, where I'm from. He is the governor today there. So there is no, how we can say that he's not the governor, but sometimes not the way you see all these people. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Some of them, they don't reach really that level because they are not into freedom fighting. They are just there as a governor for their own political ambition. That is the reason why they're there. They are not there for anything. They can't reason. They don't think. I think more than these people when you are talking about uh, Biafran restoration. I think more than them. Of course, they are occupying position in that contraption. You know, I am not occupying position. But I'm, believe you me, I'm thinking more than... Go back to my video. When Soludo Nkechi Nkechi, you are welcome to this wonderful uh, program today. When you go to my video... Because we are going to, I have a lot of videos that I'm going to show to, the, to our people. What a lawyer said. From the, I mean, the, those, that thing that Soludo said out there. Because Soludo, some people now, they went to Onyendu. And they go and tell Onyendu that Soludo said about him, they should release him. And some people are parading themselves. And I begin to ask myself. So what they are doing is whatever somebody said. They will run and go and tell Onyendu. Did they told Onyendu that they called police for me? That Kingsley has a bureau called a criminal police for me. Did they tell Onyendu that? No, they will not tell Onyendu that one. That is why I'm saying, tomorrow you will still see who oh, pulls or them one that is killing our people today in Biafra land. We come out tomorrow and say that uh, they should free Onyendu. They will run 440 and go and tell Onyendu. But they haven't tell Onyendu what hope Oso Demba is doing in our land. If they, they will not tell that one to Onyendu. Only what they are there is to begin to gossip. Now, uh, so what I'm saying is this. Let me introduce myself before I will go further. I don't want to waste much of my time or watch much of your time here. Uh, I have also some uh, audio... Well, Dark Karagod, you are welcome. Um, I have some also audio tapes from South Africa. When King Sirese Biro is now putting himself as a as a leader, we are going to listen to it because everything I'm saying is a gospel. I don't lie. I told them, listen, shake, shake. You can't shake me. I, uh, you know, uh, we are facing a lot of problems, uh, some uh, internal problems. Sometimes you, you want to withdraw back the thing that you are running away. No, we, we are all human. There is some problem that you don't even know that we are facing that problems. And we are going to keep it for ourselves because I have seen what is happening today in the social media that anything that happens, some people are there to claim it. Somebody will be sick. They will say that they are the people that are doing that to the person. That is why I don't even understand. And the Bible that you are reading every single day told you or said to you, man will grow old and sick. Definitely you must die. If I sick now, come out and tell people I'm sick. They will say some people like autopilot. They will claim it. Say, ah, naya kukiaya. <laughs> That is why sometimes I don't want to say some certain things here. I don't want to say it because these people are claim. Do you know that these people claim that they are the person that killed Obiozo? A man that is already 80 something years old. A man that he has grandchildren. And the Benima is there. Killed a woman with unborn, unborn baby. They, they are not talking about it. They are talking about a man that has already old. 
they are now claiming that they, they are the one that killed Obios. How? That is why you see, I will tell you people, some of you that are following the leadership, whenever you see, go to hospital. See your doctor. Don't allow them to claim it because very soon they will say, ah, we are the one that are doing it. We are the one that pushed that. We are the one that I remember when that idiot came out. He said that, uh, go and ask Mazichiki, the man in charge, that, uh, Narwa Drofan, like uh, Mazichiki, those him now is made of iron that he will never seek. Or a man powerful is made of a uh, steel that he will never seek. But they are claiming it. They are claiming that they are the one that are doing that. So that is why you see, I don't believe in all these superstitions. Just want you to understand that man must seek. There is no how you can never seek. You will seek one day. One day you must seek. And one day we must die. There is, that is why I'm telling you people, any day you see that I die, don't allow anybody to claim it. Don't, and don't let them claim it. That is my time. Don't let them claim it. So now let us go. Let me introduce myself. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media. Under the leadership of Mazin Nam Deoku Chukukano. Here we are. We set the record straight. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechukum, known as the Biafran Child in Wachineke. The general, I am from Ehala in Anambra. And I'm Brian Biafra land. I am IPOB under chain of command. Mazin Nam Dioku Jukukano is the highest commander, the highest authority of this movement, and DOS is the office that piloting this struggle now on absence of Mazin Nam Dioku Jukukano, Majishike Dozem is the man in charge. I know they always feel bad whenever I say this. And I will keep on saying this to you all that don't want to reason. That lack ability to reason that Mazichike Dozem is the one in charge. Whether you like it or got peace in but if you like yeah, you got whole do transform a course. If you feel bad too, you go in front of trans trailer, trailer, trailer with that speed, stay there, cock of woo now, or whatever game, your own is gone. So an IPOB is our family. And these three things that I mentioned, I must defend it jealously, whether you like it or not. Mazi Shike Dozem is the man in charge. Everything that he says goes. Every of his word stands. One no two of his word. But now, let us go for my preamble. And then I will, I will also uh, go. I have a lot of videos. I have a lot of, uh, uh, what I call it, articles that I'm going to read out. This is, I will start with our lawyer, Jimako. This is his uh, message. This is here. I hope every one of you have seen it. I just want to connect the dots because we have to connect the dots. I don't have a problem with uh, anybody, but we have to do things the way it is. According to a lawyer, Jimako update, I just concluded a visitation with Mazin Namdekan. He directed me to publicly convey his appreciation to Governor Chuku Masoludo for the political encourage him encourage he displayed by demanding for his unconditional release on a sad note he told me that his nutrition and medicals remains uh, erratic good for though for that one on his uh, mazin and the kind of nutrition and medicals remains erratic I believe that one is not something that we're supposed to hear. It's very, very sad news. Uh, we know that uh, where Mazin Namdekan is, Mazin Namdekan is not in the hands of Umunna. We know that, that Mazin Namdekan is not in the hands of Umunna. Mazin Namdekan is in the hands of those that want to kill him, those that have been looking for him for a long time. Uh, but uh, what I'm asking now, this update that uh, Aloy Ejimako went to, you know, like, because I don't believe that Onion Do knows about this. Except they are the one that went there also to tell Onion Do that uh, uh, Chuku Masoludo, the governor of Anambra State, uh, display by demanding for his unconditional release. Uh, but what I'm asking now is this. If tomorrow we know who Hope Hosodemba is, 
We know who Hope Ozodemba is. We know who Dave Umahi is. We know who Ugwana is. They are taking pictures here and there today. My question now, if we, if we Hope Ozodemba, the Abuja made governor, come out tomorrow also say that uh, he is uh, demanding unconditional release of Mazen. Are they going to go and tell Onyen do the same thing? You know, we have to understand something. Not everything that happens, you run 440 and begin to tell our own endu. Our own endu is in the hands of the enemy. Our own endu is somebody that you have to be telling him something that will make him feel good. Something that he want to hear. I saw one idiot that was talking about the Abuja government. I saw one idiot. I don't think he was in this struggle when such a thing happened during 2015. Some of them are not in this struggle. That is why then we come out and begin to tell you that Onyendu, uh, this Okoko, they call Ushoka from Efo, that sold this struggle too, that killed our people in Afaruku Ibeko, massacred and maimed our people, Ushoka from Efo. The history is there on Radio Biafra. Very soon I will search for the video and bring it out so that people will see on here that what I'm saying is authentic. He is the one on Radio Biafra, in the Radio Biafra, controlling people, telling them to go back. Why people are calling him, telling him they are killing us, who should come from Efonyala, told them return back, go there. They massacred our people. Today they are saying he's innocent. He can never go scot free. When Biafra comes, they will ask him a question. He will come and tell us the reason why he killed our people. And now tagging only Mazen Nam the Okujukukano. Now tagging Mazen Nam the Kano. Only him, he says, only him is the problem. If you go to article of Ushoka from Efo, you will see how this man is saying all manners of nonsense from his mouth against our leader. And some people that we said that we are in the same struggle, they are still supporting him. They are still giving him name. And I want you people to understand something. You will see some idiot morons. People that have no sense at all. Common sense, they like it. Then we come and tell you uh, when Ushoka for before was there, things we are we are not having all this problem, things are going well. Mazen Nam the Kano we give message, then we carry out the message the way he said it, then we do that, and things we are going well. Let me tell you people something. Some of you there, we are not there. Mazen Nam the Kano was in Kuji. Mazen Nam the Kano was not in DSS dungeon. A lot of people visit Mazen Nam the Kano when he was. In Kuje prison. Mazin Nam Kano give out information to people. That is why when they first kidnapped Onyendu, they brought Mazin Nam Kano to Nigeria. But Stefan Ejofo tried his best. When a one idiot here in, in, in Germany called was not Pyon Jong Hon. Yesterday, I'm not coming for now. Oh, when they gave it on now, now then go first run 440, Gaba police. Oh, Obo Boko Kama Afana, Bia Franchi no Kwa Lomuya. Obo Boko Kama, Pia Ndjo Hona, Nyinu Mamri Eno. I saw his stupid nonsense that he's vomiting from his mouth. Saying that when Ushemefo was there, things are going well. Because the idiot was not in this struggle. When Umazin Nandekan was in prison in 2015, slide 2017, before they released him, before Ushemefo massacred our people in Afaru Kibiko. Yes, he did it. He's the one who was in control by then. Charlie telling everybody. Mazin Nam the can even have meeting with some people. That is why everything was going the way it's supposed to be. Because if you say you will not listen, Mazi will tell you that na lie. That thing I tell you, you must do it. Now the Mazi Bar Stefan Yejofo was pushing, pushing, pushing. Let this man, let us transfer this man to, uh, to prison so that this man will be, have a free hand begin to talk to people not only two people will go there and visit him and they will come now and tell you what you said you man go to Abu in 2015 Mazen Namdekano was having communication with a lot of people in Kuje prison prison and DSS is not the same it's not the same that is why you see that there's no so much problem and some people will tell you that uh, uh, in 2015, uh, we never see some. Yes, in 2015, that people were not prepared. Like all these Ebirima, like all these Bridget, uh, them, uh, Bridget Okafor, Nelly Ofebu them. During that time, there is nothing like uh, media was not so. 
people have not having their safer land like they in Finland, like uh, some people that Mazen and they can give position like Nelly Ofebu, the Odict or Dictor, uh, like Bridget Oka for the head of a uh, woman woman leader. We never have all those things. So there is no how the fight can be up to this time around because this time around they now have sponsors. They have removed Ucho Oka from me for Ucho Oka from me for join them. During 2015, Asari Dokubo, they were having some meeting with Mazen Namdekan. Now you understand. Asari Dokubo was saying things we are hearing by then. Do you now see the reason why this issue is not up to that? But this time around, they have their own media, they have sponsor, they have everything we also have. Because they, I will tell you, they have more money more than us. They have money more than us because uh, Lorito Onoshie is now out paying people. 10,000 followers, he pay you money. Buy your credit card. Before in 2015, it was not like that. So I want you to understand. In 2015, that uh, Ucho Ka from Efo was doing exactly what Mazin because when they tell Ucho Ka from Efo something, if Ucho Ka from Efo doubt it, it will come from 10 different people. 10 different people will listen to it. We come over, na so na true, no be lying. Ah, because with this, who shall me for ask who shall me for if you communicated with Onion Do? Ask him in that place he is. Ask him in 2015. When Onion Do comes, make one ask Onion Do. I'm not lying. But today they managed to leave Onion Do in DSS dungeon. Only one or two people will go and see him. Some are come out now, begin to tell you Onion Do said. Onion Do said. Which one are you going to believe again? Pion John Hong will come and say, he tell you, the order that uh, Mazen Namdekano gave Man Shike, does him, have Man Shike, does him did it. Who knows if it's true? How can I know if it's true? Tell me. I want to know. If only two people visit Onyendo. And the only what Onyendo is answering is what they, they themselves complain to Onyendo. Why? Why? It's mostly the people that visit Onyendo will begin to bring some idiocy from them, telling you Onyendo said, watch Onyendo, or never go go Onyendo to where why? Onyendo says nothing. Onyendo says nothing. Then we'll come and fabricate lies because we don't have access to this. If Onyendo was in prison, I, the Bia franchise, can have access to Onyendo by me sponsoring somebody to go and make affidavits to go and visit Onyendu, to ask Onyendu some questions. I can do it, you can do it, every one of us can do it. But today, it's not like that. And now, they want to begin to tackle Mazishike. Does him that, uh, okay, now what they want is like, uh, Mazin and the canon say you should change uh, the coordinator, a stack illiterate, and remove the uh, one that have been working with Mazin and the canon for years. Uh, who says so? One lawyer. Who says so? One idiot. And you want us to listen to believe what he's telling you? You want us to believe what they are telling us? Is it what you mean? Listen to me. Let me tell you people something. We are no more kids. We are no more kids. Mazin Namdekano said that he have a leadership. On absence of him here, Mazin Namdekano has spoken with the wife. With his wife. Or her wife. Mazin Namdekano's wife. He have talked to this woman. This woman visited Mazen Namdekano, come out and told us that the first person Mazen Namdekano asked about is Mazichike Dozim. But up to date, people don't want to hear that a wife of somebody is telling you what the husband told her. You are saying a lie. Oh, one idiot, we don't know where he comes from, will be telling you, Onyendu said, you say yes, Onyendu is true. Now let us go. So why I'm asking a lawyer, Jimako, I has no problem with him. He's part of our legal team. But I want him to also know that the money that he's receiving is money we contributed. We are the people that contributed the money. So whenever he gets information, he should go and give it to the leadership. He is not in that position to begin to tell us, only do tell you to make it publicly. To who? To who and who? You understand? So we have to do things the way it is, on this nutrition and the medical, we know that Onyen do, we know that that is the zoo, that is the pattern of the zoo, and uh, the zoo will never stop. 
then we do all their best for Mazen Namdekanu to compromise. We know, we know the reason. We know that Mazen, if Mazen Namdekanu compromise in that place, they will free Mazen Namdekanu. Give him everything that he wants. But he's a man that loves his own people. Mazen Namdekanu loves his own people. That is why I be able to meditate and listen to him carefully and join him on this struggle. He's our leader. He's our leader. And I stand that Mazen Namdekan is still our leader. Nobody can ever take that leadership away from him. Unless him is the one that will say, I'm tired. But as he stands today, Mazen Namdekan is our leader. And Mazen Chike is the one in charge on absence of Mazen Namdekan. He is the one that gives order and you can never do anything. The one day the cost tank illiterate here that is parading himself as a national coordinator is going there calling people. He will call the lawyer. The lawyer will carry all the whole nonsense that he spoke with the lawyer. The lawyer will carry it and go and give the real national coordinator. Idiots everywhere. They don't even know anything. Only, like I said, Onyendu have brought another message that they should stop parading that idiot as a national coordinator. But they won't listen. I will bring also what they said in South Africa. You will see what is the bureau said with his mouth. Then you begin to ask me, or you ask yourself this question: What are we doing here? So, Allah Yejimako, forget about this uh, appreciation to Governor Soludo for the political political courage he displays by demanding for his unconditional release. We don't care. We don't care. Soludo, what he said, I'm not saying that he did not do it well. He did well by even though saying it out, but by Soludo saying that a uh, uh, Mazen Nam they can they should be, that is when I say Soludo, you are uh, shared the wrong woman. I'm the one who are the As it stands today, Soludo is a governor of Anambra State where I come from. But that does not that does not mean that because he's a professor. Soludo is not a thinker. I am a thinker. I think deeply. Because by Soludo saying that they should release Mazen Namdekano to him, shorty, he will shorty. Does he mean that Soludo, <clears throat> as a professor, he don't even know that that Mazen Namdekano, there is no case in front of him. That all the 15 charges, they have already trashed. So Soludo don't know that. And when I say that I'm a thinker, some people will say what I'm saying. This man is a professor. What makes Soludo a professor? What makes him a professor? It's what he right makes him a professor. He's not a professor in Biafran agitation. I am a thinker in Biafran agitation. Restoration project. Now you understand. We are not the same. We are not the same. He may be a governor controlling the, state, the whole state of Anambra. I am not. But in this Biafran movement, I am a thinker. I think deeply more than him. Because he don't think. If he thinks that thing that he say with his mouth, he can never say it. He can only plead for the unconditional release of Mazen Nandekano. Plead to the government. If you want political solution, he can go. But by saying they should release him, shorty, are you mad? Is your Who are you telling that one? Or that one? Who are you telling that one? Now, let me because you know all this thing they are saying now. I don't know if Paul Soludo. We should also ask Soludo who is his candidate in this twenty twenty three election that is coming, <coughs> because it's not today. They discharge Mazen Namdekan. It's been a long time. So Ludo never say anything. Probably he's waiting for his own candidate who he will support. Because now they are using Mazen Namdekan for the campaign. And IPOB, this is exactly what they are doing. That is why I don't care about what they are saying. I don't care. I'm telling you people, very soon now you will see hope. Who's on them will come and ask for the release of Mazen Namdekan. Very, very soon. Or those people that you know that hated Mazen, they will come and begin to say, uh, we should release Mazen Namdekanu now, and, and uh, we know that this man did not do it. Come, I will give shorty, I will give my house, I will give my properties, you know, for their campaign. Because why I'm saying this, why Solu don't ever say this thing since after he visited Mazen Namdekanu? So he's calling Mazen Namdekanu to stop the, 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 the problem that is happening in Biafra land. Eh? The killings in northern part of Nigeria, is it Mazen Namdekan that is doing it? Is it Mazen Namdekan? Why the northern people never stopped what the Boko Haram and Isba that is killing people there? 
Why they never stop? So they want to use Mars and Namikam to campaign. Now I want to shock every one of you for you to know that what I'm saying is authentic. Now, another one have come. He, they say he's a Hitler. Campaign, campaign, campaign. See it here. Yes, on weekend, I will read it out. What was yes, on weekend said. Then you ask yourself why it's all about campaign. It's all about their political ambition. Yes, on weekend said, I don't know if it's true, but I have saw this thing in different platform. I tried to search his page. I couldn't see it. Maybe he never published it on his page, but very, very soon. But I have saw a lot of people I said it, but I say, okay, if a lot of people have posted this uh, article, then I want to tell people what is behind that. Now, I want to read out. If I open up the secret that kept Mazen Namdekan in detention, he will be released immediately. Nwike News Hub. Creator, uh, creator. They say, immediately Nwike News Hub. Creator. July 18, 2023, 9, 8 a.m. That is morning. That is what Wike is saying, you know. He said, if I open up the secret that keeps Mazen Nam the Kano in detention, he will be released immediately, Wike said. Is he not political ambition? He continues. The governor of River State, Mr. Wike Nelson, says that if he should open up about the secret that kept the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Nam the Kano, in detention, the Nigerian government will have no choice but to release him immediately. Akukon story, 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 story. These people are talking. Story, story, story. He further said, he further stated that Mazen Nam the Kano is still in the hand in the in their custody because. He has refused to dance to their tone. And because Bugari has asked him to do something, and he has refused to do it, so they are not releasing him. And I am really sure that if all this is exposed today, Nigeria will divide. Nigeria will, will divide. Let me take it again. <laughs> he said, if he release it. So, he said, that. so, they they are not releasing him. And I am really sure that if all this is exposed today, Nigeria will divide, he said. This one wiki said. If he said what he knows, Nigeria will divide. Is he not the same thing Roger Saboga also said? <laughs> if he say, if I say what I know about Nigeria, Nigeria will break up. Or is he not uh, Roger Saboga also said they are playing ping pong today? All this thing they want to use us to campaign. Don't mind all of them. Don't mind them. Let me continue. According to him, if I talk now, they will say that Nwike is taking too much, talking too much. But if I review the secret that still kept Mazen Namdekan in detention, he will be released immediately. And I am really sure that this country will be divided after saying it. Story. They are all stories. We can say it now. Let us hear it. You, you people, oh, that is why I told you people, I am a thinker. I am not just ordinary freedom fight. I am a thinker. I think deeply. Before I will come in conclusion. A lot of people will be jumping up on this article of Mwike, saying Mwike have changed. Mwike have uh, stood up for Mazen. They are all lies. They are all lies. They are, all of them are those that gather up and kidnap Onyendu. They should release Mazen Namdekan because Mazen Namdekan has no case. Uh, and Nigeria, that is why he is still in their core study. Aye. And when they will share this thing, they will say, oh, Wike knows a lot about Mazen Namdekan. Wike knows about why they are holding the Mazen Namdekan. Tomorrow night, you go see now, Wike will come uh, in, 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 uh, in Obibu. He will have conference in Obibu. And our people will rush. They will go to Wike. Ah, this one, that this man know the secret. Ah, probably we are going to support him. We are going to support his candidate. If uh, his candidate uh, enters a president, they will release him as an American. Now you understand the game they are playing. 
That is why I said that we should go and ask Sorudo who he, he, he is who he supported in this election that is coming. To. Who is his candidate? We have to ask him. <laughs> you know, they are using us to campaign now. They know why Mazen Nandekan is there. The same thing Wiki said now. Is he different? The answer is no. Which Bugari in Keshin the dead one now, they know all of them know so. I remember when Roger Sabo said, if I say what I know about this, this bomb will blast, Nigeria will break, nothing, just to, you know, put our people, because our people so much love gossip. That is why now, um, I have, I hope they will run for 40. Have they tell Onion do that, uh, uh, so we can say that he knows the reason why he's there. They have to go and tell Onion do now. Have they not getting there? Go and tell Onion do that in your Wike. If Onion do will tell you, okay, go also go there and tell uh, Nyesun Wike, I appreciate him. I love his uh, courage. I love his uh, attitude, his standing fame. Go and tell Onion do now. You people should go and tell Onion do. You think that we are coming here to listen to all this nonsense? We are, I am bigger than all those nonsense. Don't tell me jargons. Of course, I know some of our people that lack ability to read. They will buy all this idea, but we are not here to listen to all this nonsense. But Soludo, but they are all inconsequential. They are nothing. Where are we are they when they kidnap Onyendu? Where are we are they when they want to kidnap their brother? Where are they? Are they not the people that supported it because of Igbo presidency? Are they not the people that supported it? Are they not the one? I remember after they, 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 they brought Mazen Nandekano to Nigeria and uh, Nyesun Wike make also a statement by then that uh, eh, now you people have brought because Tambua have left him alone. Tambua have left him. He came out and said that uh, um, you people that brought Mazen Namdekan back to Nigeria, make sure the court is free and fair. Oye okay, Kena, you are telling me. So you are telling me now. And when we, we can make that statement, a lot of them carry that. We can have changed. We can is a repentant person. Now lie. They are all the same. This is just a game. A game of mind. They are playing chess. These people are politicians now, so you don't even know. You think that these people are like me and you? That we say things the way it is and down the corner? No, these people play their playing chess game. A game of, of or, 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 or game of uh, thinking. They have to think, okay, if I use this, I will get the minds of my people. If I say this now, you know our people so much love Mars and Namikano. If I say something like this, that means that they will come to me. That is exactly what these people are doing. Don't mind them. Let us continue. Let us continue. I have a lot here. Uh, now, um, you know, I will play you people what a lawyer said. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer said. About Soludo. You will see that this Soludo professor is cock and bull. Let me talk about let me talk, man. Am I telling you not to listen? No, if after I finish, you go and tell him. I don't beg nobody. And I want you people to understand this. Nobody ever can tell you that it has anything against the beer franchise. That is why they are running health as cat. And I am in position to take bribe from people like some politicians. If you people don't know, I'm telling you people, I'm telling you people, so that if you don't know, you begin to know. Almost three of them. But I told them, we are in Biafran Restoration Project. I don't care what I will eat today. I care about our unborn children, those that are, they are already in Biafran land. Because this Biafra we are talking about, I know the reason why some people are collecting bribe, taking money from people, from politicians, is because they know that they are not going to benefit anything from Biafra. I am not going to benefit anything from Biafra. I'm telling you people the truth. Before Biafra comes, when Biafra comes, we are going to build Biafra. Before we finish building Biafra, probably maybe I will be 80 years. Maybe I have died already. 
That is why you see all these people you see today jumping around, taking money from politicians because they know that there's nothing they will get from Biafra. But that is why we standing, I'm standing firm so that if I don't collect bribe, it will also be in history that there's some person like this called Biafran child. They promising him heaven on earth. They will buy him this, they will give him this, but he rejected because of Biafran restoration. That is why we are calling the Mazin Namdekano today. Mazin Namdekano is supposed to be a very wealthy person in a sense of corruption because they promised him a lot of things in Kuje prison. He put his own people first. That is why you are hearing the name of Mazin Namdekano. And how we projected Mazin Namdekano as our leader. Now you understand. So don't think that we are coming here for family business. No, we don't. I hope you are getting the point. Let me show you people the video of uh, Soludo. A young man, a young man, a young man that thinks. Abra Soludo is a professor. Where he gets his professor, I don't even know. Of course, he's the governor of Anambra State. I'm not, that I can never deny that. He is. But if you don't know about the rules, that is why I told you people. These people don't even act themselves. In what, uh, in what uh, uh, constitution are they operating on? Which constitution are they operating? Did they know? Did Soludo know that Nigeria have expired? Did he know? I don't know. That is why I'm telling you. Did he know? Or oh, Nigeria may expire in 2014. Did he know? Did he know that even though Nigeria is not a nation, there is Soludo, Soludo, man. But he got a boy, a professor. He got a boy, some people, doctor. He got a boy, some people. I was there. And I, I remember when, um, because when I'm saying everything, uh, I have to put some. I remember when, uh, what is his name? Uh, Wale Shoyinka. They say he's a Nobel Prize winner. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He's a study. He's this. Uh, brain, and I cook at this thing. But he's there. Bugari is ruling him. A stack illiterate called Bugari is ruling him. And you come out and tell me you are, you are this, you are that. I don't believe in all those nonsense. When you come to Europe where I'm living today, people that are ruling the country are those that are learned. They can be able to think and understand what they can do to help their own people. I'll be able to go to a bro professor when you come back to Nigeria. is a stack illiterate. Well, you see, when we are talking about illiterate, that is why I said there is difference from thinker. And somebody that is a professor or engineer. Why education is good is you as a thinker. After you think, now you can be able to put it on writing. You think, now you put it on writing. Some people that are coming, next generation will start from there. Start from that what you think or what you, you write up and begin to think more. But the professor, you just went to school, you do something, you masters in something, they give you professor. Is that thing that only that thing that you study, you know nothing again. That is why you see a thinker is what we need. That is why you see Mazen Nam. Mazen Namikan is a thinker. He thinks deeply. Do you see Mazen Namikan attached with professor or with doctor or with philosopher? No, he is a thinker. He thinks. Now let us listen to this uh, the video of this man. Wait, 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 wait. We are going to listen to it. You will see what this man said about Soludo. This video was for Soludo. Five, the public interest and human rights lawyer in Ibehe Efiong. We're talking about Southeast insecurity and the disagreements between IPOB and Governor Soludo on Enam Dikano. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. All right, uh, let's get straight to business. Um, Governor Soludo has called on the federal government to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Enam Dikano, to him. Um, any legal implications to this? The answer is no. What Mr. Soludo said is entirely political. Political. It is without any legal consequence. Are you listening? The first point to even make is that by virtue of his position, virtue of his side, uh, he's not even eligible to stand up. That's why you see Mazin Nabi. 
Wait, wait. There's something for anybody in Nigeria. Wait, wait. Let me bring some foam so that I can be able to put my hand. Yes, my people. I want to bring this foam so that I can be able to put foam because um, I think I have to I have to make it full. That is because under section 300. Yeah, I think it's better like this so that my voice will not going to come out. I have to take it back so that you people will listen to it very well. On oh, yeah. to our interview with the guest of the day. I am now joined by the public interest and human rights lawyer, Enibehe Efiong. We're talking about Southeast insecurity and the disagreements between IPOB and Governor Sododo on Enamdekanu. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. We disagree with you. Uh, Thank you for having me. Sododo, no right, uh, Let's get straight to business. Um, Governor Sododo has called on the federal government to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Enamdekanu, to him. Um, any legal implications to this? The answer is no. What Mr. Soludo said is entirely political. It is without any legal consequence. The first point to even make is that, by virtue of his position, virtue of his side, uh, he's not even eligible to stand as a shorty for anybody okay. in Nigeria. Okay. That is because under Section 308 of the Constitution, a governor has the immunity not only from prosecution, not only from civil action, when you look at the language of Section 308, it is very expansive to the extent that any person that is entitled to immunity under that section, the law says no process of court can be issued okay. that is capable of compelling the appearance of listing, that person. Listing. Now, is the guy is just coming. If someone is already in court, let us assume that before we even get to whether there is even a basis for you know, his proposition or not. When someone is arraigned in court and that person is admitted to bail, the courts require that person to produce a short seat for someone to enter into recognizance. Now, in the event that that person jumps bail or violates the term of his bail, and the court is to issue a warrant for the arrest of that person, the court can require the short seat to issue cause, to show cause why the son that the person has entered into recognizance should not be forfeited to the federal government or to the state government as the case may be. In another instance, the court can even require that person to come to court to explain the appearance of that person. So technically speaking, because of the implications of the immunity clause, a governor is not someone that is capable of standing as a shorty for any person in the in law. So it how is the solution become a governor? Because that will entail that he has to go to court, the post to an affidavit, sign bail bond and all that. What happens in this now because does not attain court? Can the governor be compelled to produce him? The answer is no. So what Ludu said was just a political statement. But the question is, if to stand short for what they're lacking, because as of today, as I'm speaking to you, there is no charge known to law in any court in Nigeria, to my knowledge, that Nam Dekanu is facing. Are you listening? The charge that he was facing before the Honorable Justice Yaku yes. has been declared a nullity, had been set aside by the Court of Appeal in a unanimous judgment. Are you listening? And the court even said the federal government cannot try him for any offense whatsoever because of the issue of extraordinary rendition. Are you listening? Therefore, at that today, there is no charge in law that Nam Dekanu is facing. What has happened is that after the Court of Appeal had given the judgment last October, yes. the federal government applied for a stay which the court in its wisdom granted, even though some of us have, you know, some jurisprudential difficulties, you know, explaining that judgment. But that is the, the ruling. That is the ruling of the court, staying that judgment, which now the Kanu has appealed to the Supreme Court. But as of today, the law remains that now the Kanu is not facing any trial, cannot face any trial, and cannot be arraigned in any court. So thank you. you cannot stand something for someone that is not standing Thank you, so thank me, you. Thank what you. he said was just a political statement. Okay. Which is not out of place. If the federal government believes that dialogue is a, a, a solution to a crisis in the southeast, that political solution can resolve the agitation that we are seeing, the hip-hop agitation, why not? The governor can advocate for his unconditional release. He can and advocate that, on, on his own. As I said, there is a pending and subsisting judgment of the court of appeal. Even though same has been stayed, that now the can't hold not to face trial. For me, yes. what is important is that 
the government, the federal government should examine the issue dispassionately. If you have a situation where in the last seven to eight years, we have seen members of Boko Haram yes. that have slaughtered thousands of Nigerians, granted immunity, Thank you. God bless granted you. amnesty, being reintegrated in court, what is the distinction between what Boko Haram has done to grant them, to make them eligible for amnesty compared to what IPOP is doing? Why are we having double standard? But on the other hand, I am among those Nigerians who believe that violence is not the solution. Therefore, while we are also calling for, you know, dialogue and all that, we must make it very clear that sit at home is not acceptable, that nobody has the right to disrupt the electoral process, and nobody has the right to burn INEC offices or public facilities, while also calling on the federal government to be dispassionate. Regarding what Sunudu has said, as I have already explained, we should take it for what it is, because in the first place, it was at a, at a political rally that he made this statement. And you and I know that when it comes to it, times like this, politicians in Nigeria can say anything, and that is exactly what Yes, you call it a political statement, but then Governor Soluda said Kano is critical to the security situation in the southeast. Forget about the what Soluda is talking about. It's election region. time. We you say this can election time, so you don't know before. That region. You don't know. I, I, I don't believe that Sludo is serious about, about what he's saying. He's, he's, he's not serious. He's not serious. It's not. It was a political statement and I've already underscored legally and constitutionally he's not eligible to even be a shorty. And secondly, there is no basis for anybody, whether governor or whatsoever, to even say he wants to be a shorty because there is no charge that Nam Dekanu is facing. But I do agree with him on one point. Okay. That if we are going to resolve the crisis in the southeast. <laughs> There has to be some form of conversation. Because what has become clear over the last few years is that the militarization of the South is the, the Python has danced and has failed. The rhythms of the Python has not resulted in peace. Rather, what we are seeing is increased militarization. The killing of innocent citizens, the burning of the properties of private citizens and public facilities. So to, to resolve that, it is therefore important and imperative for the federal government to explore their law. And that today, it is quite regrettable that there is no evidence that the, the current federal government of President Muhammad Buhari is even interested in talking to them. There is no evidence. But we have seen clearly how the federal government has treated the issue of the headsmen. We have seen how the federal government has treated the issue of Boko Haram. Any sincere person can see a departure. In the, on the one read, we see the government being very... Look at the killing that is going on in, in the North Central. Tell them. Just about yes, Tell last them. night or so, we saw how a reverend father was born to death. People are being killed, you know, are being attacked all over the place. We do not see the kind of emotion, the kind of passion with which the federal government is approaching this different, you know, aspect of criminality that is going on. And that is the problem. The problem is not even about dialogue. Yes. It's not even about trial in any court. Okay. It's about the fact that there is a clear bias they declare prejudice on Thank the part you. of the federal government. Thank that you. is what has made it almost impossible uh -huh. for this crisis to be resolved. Because if the federal government is dispassionate, we will see a uniform approach to address. All right. So what the then? What then is the way out of all of this? To discharge the matter now. Like for us to wait for Buhari to leave office. I am not as optimistic that you anything see? is going to change. I know. We know. We know. We know. We know. We know. We know. I want okay. the federal government to prove me wrong. But if the last seven years is anything to go by, it will be false hope for anybody to believe that the Buhari government is going to resolve the insecurity that is going on across the country. A brave the one. government has clearly proven itself in incapable. The service chief have not been fired. People have not been held accountable. Brave what Lord. we are seeing is indulgence. And that is not how to address a crisis of this nature. When people are claiming that you are, that you are victimizing them, you have to talk to them, you have to engage them. Yes. When you have felt, yes. you now employ the might of the government, and the might of the states. You are but that today, there is clearly no willingness on the part of this federal government to engage in any form they of... They are not willing. They are agreeing. Right. Why are they still holding on to Nam Why are they, they holding They are him? saying that if they release him, there will be consequences. Are they saying that Nam Dekanu's movement cannot be monitored? That his activities cannot be monitored? Before this issue even became this terrible, yes. when Namdi Kanu was still going about 
holding rallies and so on. It uh -huh. was not this bad. Yes. They were only disrupting traffic and all that. Yes. It was when it was taken into custody, the military went to attack people and all that, and the killing started. Now the situation... And who shall afford is the one that commanded commanding them? No, at that day, nobody can even kiss. Because the Igbos are the major victims now. Yes. We have seen prominent people from the South East region. Who shall afford is involved? Who shall afford? We have seen public facilities, schools, and so on being, being destroyed. The Igbos are the victims, the major victims of, of the crisis. Of course, you are right, you are right. That but, is why the uh, Governor Solida said he has inaugurated, Governor Solida said he has inaugurated the Truth, Justice and Peace Committee in Anna Prasit against do, the Hapu Solida Solida being secured in the South To what extent can this again. help? To what extent can this help to solve all of this crisis? To release mass in It is not out of place, but it's not going to result in anything, anything tangible. I'm saying that because the matter has gone beyond the government. Yes. It is a matter that only the federal government can resolve. It is, it, it is just like saying that a governor in the Niger Delta state, say, example, my home state of Paipo, or Delta or Rivers, during the Niger Delta militancy, could have resolved the militancy in the region by constituting a truth and reconciliation commission. This matter is not domesticated to Anambra. The whole Southeast region is under militarization, is under criminality. Thank you. Criminals have taken over the entire region. I, I so love this man. That one I love you. Resolve. In any event, I love you. does the governor have any power to regulate the military? Look at the answers. Okay. When the Lagos State government set up a panel of inquiry, this is a good, good example, and they made recommendations. Has the federal government shown any willingness to hold any soldier accountable? They have not have the truth and reconciliation commission on without the ability to bring justice to bear. All right. If the Lagos example is anything to go by, it is a clear evidence that Soludo is wasting his time. Soludo is wasting his time before you don't know. The military must also Akosu. be held accountable Akosu. for the slaughter of, men, of people in the, in the region. Who is going to hold the military accountable? It is not the state government. Who is going to hold the police accountable? It is not Soludo. It has to take the federal government. As I've told you, Buhari has clearly made it clear to all Nigerians that he's not interested in doing that. So the best bet for us is for us to wait for this government to leave office and hope that the next government will take the matter more seriously. Thank you very much, Mr. Inibahe. Uh, hey. Thank you, my brother. Hi. I hope every one of you listen to... This one is not cock and boo lawyer. It's not a... Uh, Recharge card uh, lawyer. No, 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 no. He said things the way it is. The same Soludo, some people went and go and tell Onyendu that Soludo talk about Onyendu and now Bruce talk of the day. Because Soludo went to where they were, were gossiping, saying that they should release Onyendu. A real lawyer have told you if Soludo want to make this kind of statement, it's not that place they are. There is a place that Soludo have to make this statement so that the government will listen to him. I said it, go back to my video before this guy, but before this our brother say all these things. Go back to my video, you will listen to what I said as a thinker. I am not a lawyer, but I know what it is because I have been in this struggle. I know how this struggle is going. That is why I told you people election time is here. A lot of people want to win the heart of uh, uh, Biafran people so that they can be able to vote them. In a sense that they will remain in power, according to what uh, so we cannot come out to drop. Uh, I, I know what uh, is holding the mass in Namdeka. Okay, you are telling me so that I do, do you think I don't know what is holding the mass in Namdeka? What is holding the mass in Namdeka if you don't know? The dead Bugari, you know, mass in Namdeka have deal with these people, and you remember if you people haven't forgotten, mass in Namdeka said that Bugari can never jail me, he can never jail him. And now, Bugari are now the president. Of course, he have died. But the people that are parading Bugari will say, how can this man say all these things in the highest court in Abuja? And now we caught him, you want us to just let him go. Bugari will die in shame, even though we know that he have died already. People that are parading that office will die in shame if they just release Mazen Namdekar. That is why they wanted to carry this issue to court, in a sense that court will tell them to jail Mazen Namdekano. But now, court have discharged him. They don't want to feel that shame to say we free him. Because uh, in their mind, they are also thinking, 
if we free this man now, this man we 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 start again. Say, hey, I told you people. I told you you people cannot jail me. Now you have you people see it. We know. We know all these things. So all of you that are using political ambition or your because of what you are going to gain, say the mass and the kind of that you're a lie. You're a lie. A real lawyer have told us what it is. So Ludo, he cannot shorty Mazen Namdekano. Ah, you see now, Soludo is a governor. And when he was saying this, I don't know if Soludo read the constitution that he was governing under. He did not read it. He, he did not even know that he cannot shorty person as a governor. Soludo don't even know. You see, you only know. Okay, what again? Now, do you understand it? Don't mind all these people when election is around the corner. Don't even listen to their, their nonsense or jargon they are coming out from me. Don't listen to them. They just want to use us to get to that position. Tomorrow you will, so you don't know, after he finish now, maybe his candidate won the election or win the election tomorrow, he will not talk about it, he will just go and sit down. Another person will surface. Tell your mother, Namikan is a good man. He has to be released. Like what Jesu Mwike said now. I saw a lot of people share it in a sense that uh, so Nyeso Mwike is now opening their ass. I said, no. Nyeso Mwike is not doing anything. Nyeso Mwike just want to use the brain of our people. Because our people are gullible. Our people don't reason. And with all these things that Nyeso Mwike just put out there, people will still love him more. Like now, what Soludo said, people will just Soludo be an ally. All these things is just political. I know. And we are not into political. That is why I'm not here for political correctness. And our brother have said it. This one now is not a... We are all Biafras. You see, he, he, he heard his name, Ethiong. Then he comes from coastal region. Our brother. This one is not research card. He said that he knows the reason why he's there. You people should go and tell Onyendu that now. They should go abroad, charge the charge and bail. Not that this one is not charge and bail lawyer. He said things the way it is. Who say allowed to call in? Um, are you opposition? I like to answer opposition if you want. I will also drop my line very soon. I will take two or three people. I like opposition so that they will come and tell me. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Be a franchise, take a easy, easy, easy. I will paste my number. Just give me some minutes. I will put my number. It does not mean I can also give people a chance to call. But I have to do the justice first. I still have some video to show our people. I want to tell them because me, <clears throat> that is why we are here. I have said it. When Mazin Namdekan will come out, he will be happy that those that he's looking for are here, those that can be able to think and reason and think deeply, and be able to bring something out of nothing. A lot of people were happy about the statement of Soludo and the same thing this idiot called Yeson Wike that massacred our people in Obi. Now some people will see Sin Wike as he's doing well because he said he know the reason why Mazen Namikan is still there. If he says something, Nigeria will divide. Didn't uh, what is called his name? Um, um, this to Fubu. Tifubu said the same thing. Rogers Abouasa said the same thing. The time that, do you know that they did not want to give uh, Tifubu a ticket to APC? Tifubu come and say, if you die, uh, Nigeria will break. Ah, 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 and I have your blue stories. Anyone, uh, Nigeria, well, Nigeria is a fraudulent. That is why such a thing can happen. Nigeria is a fraudulent. When you see such a thing happening, that means that the country is a fraudulent. Is, there is no truth in the country. Can somebody, do you think where I'm living today in Germany, somebody will come and tell you, <clears throat> I will say something, German will break. It's impossible. Now, what do you want to say? Because everybody are doing, everything is in intact. Now, I want to show you people something again. Um, you know, everything I'm telling you people, you see, <clears throat> how uh, uh, this idiot, our brother, Jonathan, Jonathan Gamalife, Jonathan Gamalife, that is why Obama used Jonathan. Jonathan knows that he won the election. Jonathan knows. Very well, he knows. But because of your fear, because of your fear, Jonathan is there building Alamajiri house. 
for Aramajiri. Do you know that uh, where Jonathan uh, there is his village, there is no motorable road? Jonathan, a whole president, somebody that was a president for four years, no road to his house. He was busy there building houses, a road, okay, where a lot of Aramajiri at the end, that warrior Obama after war. Listen to Jonathan. Listen. He is confessing. Only really, really. Jonathan is confessing. Mazin Nandekano told Jonathan, our brother Jonathan, our brother Jonathan, he told him, pack your property and go to Enugu and stay. And told them, if they don't give you your mandate, you declare Biafra full time. On our Bogali program. Now, told you, pack your property, leave that Abuja you are, go to Enugu, stay there. Tell them if they don't give you your mandate, you will declare Biafra. And if Jonathan did that, you see, by now, if we remain in Nigeria, everything will be equal to everybody. If we remain in Nigeria. Because that is when, even though our oppressors, we know that these people have stand up on their own. Go to Enugu, Jonathan, leave Abuja, Jonathan, leave Jonathan, on our peace, back up, back up. Only her wife is a good, uh, she had there. Jonathan wife is a good woman. I love her so much. Jonathan Jonathan is a Jonathan is Okoko. I will say it away. Jonathan Bokoko. Leave Abuja, Jonathan come out for Abuja. Then we then we then, then we store your mandate. Jonathan leave Abuja. Go to Enugu. Stand there. Carry microphone. Just hold on. Tell them if you don't give me my mandate, what are we announced now? And that time he's still a president too. He's still, and when he announces it, it's over. They will give him his mandate. He will use it to help his own people. Jonathan was there. Now, 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 See who, how they stole the mandate of Jonathan. Listen to it. Obama's government uh -huh. was fed overwhelming. It's not as if Jonathan was a president. I couldn't have won the election even with that. You are mad. You won but the election. If I my own thinking. Yes. And also the way some of that would look at it. Uh -huh. They go outside the normal diplomatic relationship. Then it should be mentioned. Uh -huh. You see? You see now? You see I'm now. You see I'm now. Uh, we are we are coming. Jota, we wait, you never finish. You. Uh, 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 let me bring it back because uh, my hand is paining me. I have to put uh, this thing so that you people, you will see Jonathan Bonnell. By the American Obama's government mm. was very overwhelming. It's not as if I couldn't have won the election even with that. And what happened? But if I my own thinking, yes, and also the way some of that would busy building half for Aramajiri, Jonathan, the normal diplomatic relationship, yes, then it should be mentioned. You see, this is when they meet uh, Kelly, Kelly, the former uh, state secretary. Sending that person uh -huh. to Nigeria at the eve of election, after Obama even issued a statement, yes, directing Nigerians to vote for the next chapter. Uh -huh. That tells you something, and we should not sweep this is under the. You, so now you want a foreign country, <laughs> or an African country, or even the uh, uh, America or any other country uh, interferes with our own. Elections. Yes. We should mention it. You see, ya? I hope you people are reading it. When I tell you people that when Jonathan is he came. Yeah. Fraud, fraud, Chibok fraud. fraud. How do we get these guys out? Fraud. fraud. Within a couple of days, we saw people going to the US yeah. bring back our girls placards. The same thing your sister. Come and see your sister the And of course, you see uh, the Mrs. Obama received one of those placards. All right. I cannot take responsibility for the abduction. I don't control Boko Haram. They are oh. criminals. Oh, okay. But as a president, of course, you know, it's not the president that goes to the field. You have uh, security and intelligence officers that do the work. Let me admit that, yes, maybe they do their best, but their best was not good enough for us to recover the girls. John that Kelly. Not mean that See our sister. Wait, wait. See your sister here. Ngozi has a question called Gene Bafia. You see I'm here. People they used against their own people. They went there and begin to lie about Shibos girls. It's a lie, fraud, 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 agile fraud. Just to take the mandate. 
and they use you. Remember what they said. If they cannot be able to find their own person to carry their work, they will use your own person to, they will pay the person. A whole Obama wife leave the problem in America. It's now Nigeria is her own problem. Begin to carry placards. Okay, for them. Uh, yes, from any blame. Yes, you see, I'm you not to blame for the action. But I could be blamed that my security and intelligence is not strong enough. That is the super get Fraud. Now you understand it. Now, 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 now you see, you see now how Jonathan is crying. He's crying after the dice is off. He's crying after the head is down. On a bro, Jonathan knows nothing. They are the part of our problem. That is why we are suffering today. If you say that their own person now, you will steal them half back up. If you say Jonathan was fighting this battle with an uh, an Ebiafra man, you will fool you guy, fool Jonathan Ebon Abamba for a All this thing like uh, Nelson Wike is doing, he will go to Obi and massacre our people. He joy had to draw me a cobo. He will go there. Tambua will razzle his ass. You see what I'm talking about? He will go there, thumb who I will say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. 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 This is it. That is why you see our people. I don't know who did this to us. That we can't even appreciate who we are and work as one people. I'm going to go and call the, the first call police for me. They call criminal police for me. But one idiot in Finland that is uh, the, the mother was the father was a Fulani man. The father was a Fulani man. He left him there. He did not do anything to him. Then you feel that was they put the big bus now bagaling. Now Chinese now got now bani foji and no man make all we make ya chono destroy IPOB. He was there. They did not do anything to because the mother of Nelly Ofebu is a Fulani. My Fulani. Nelly Ofebu the mother is Fulani. He did not do anything to them. Oh, they are baby, a franchise, you know, uh, of back up. See what I'm saying? That is our problem. That is the mess that we... Uh, let me show you something. <coughs> let me show you people something. I will tell you people what they are telling their, own, their people. Uh, you know, and I want the leadership to pay attention to this. This is for the leadership, our leadership. They should listen and see what they said. And that is exactly what they are telling them to go out there and say. Make sure on wait there, make sure. If you see this man, the same man went to his page and go and share one of my video, my audio tape that I sent to this stack illiterate. The same idiot, Anna or Jocelyn, that was cause not getting about fear. If for the man, if for if for if for if for a monsoon, a monsoon ke gafu. If for if for a monsoon no more. I want you people to listen and see what they are telling these people. John Kelly, yeah, John Kelly now. John Kelly meet uh, Bugari after he met with Bugari. Uh, that is when they truncate. That is one way. Jonathan after the next back one. I go to Jonathan. I go in to Jonathan. Run, come out from Abuja. Go to Enugu. Stay there. I don't go to Enugu and stay. Just wait for them. Jonathan and I say, hey, we are going to win this election. We know how to do it. And he knows nothing. I want to hear him. Go to Enugu and wait. He said no. Today he's crying. Now, I want you people to see this man. Listen to what he will say. Just pay attention, you will hear what they are telling people. Listen. The fact is that yes. what is playing now in 
After this one now, I have to bring the one in South Africa. Then you begin to see, you know, I have told you people that the hatred they have for Mazi Shike Dozim is not because that Mazi Shike Dozim is so quiet. The problem is they believe that Mazi Shike Dozim is not the one that's supposed to be in that position. It's Madame Finance. They will say it here so that, I'll, you know, why I'm doing all this thing for for a purpose so that tomorrow I will bring, you see, we, I never, I will never delete my video. That is why sometimes I don't want to be coupling all this and I want to put it in my video so that it, it will remain there. You will see what they are telling these people. You will see the reason why they are disobeying Mazishike Dozim. You will see the reason. Now you will say it. And later now I will take you back to South Africa. Now pay attention. And that's what, what I'm saying tonight is that we must get this job done. Of you will course. call, you will call, don't worry. You will call. get it done. There is no two ways about that. You know, so, um, I, coming on the radio Biafra, trying to castigate Carlo uh, Takalo, saying all manner of noises, similes. Carlo Takalo is a member of IPOB. Okay. Period. There is no two ways about that. A member of IPOB. And a member of IPOB, you say sack him. Do you have the power to sack him? Who gives the dozen the power? He has no power to remove any IPOB member. Of course, that's the truth. So, don't buy me the way I'm facing because I'm now in YouTube and uh, Twitter. Okay, okay, speak. I, I want you to say this. Say, say something. So, what I'm saying in effect is that yes. Carol Dakaro is a member of IPOB. And there is no way you can say, oh, remove Carol Dakaro, remove Nenaya. Nenaya is period to take a dose. Nenaya is period. Okay. Take a dose with this already the head. But Nenaya, the finance woman, is period to him. So, who's Sophie? I don't know. It can be superior to somebody, but you can be elevated to be the head. But those people who are your superior, you must respect them. That's how it is. You see now, you see now, leadership, I hope you people have listened. This is exactly what they are projecting to our people. They are telling our people because Madam Finance is holding our money that we contributed. Now you understand. Our people believe in that adage in our place said, Obonye ji gugegu niso. But in that adage, some of our people don't even get the adage well. They can't even explain the adage. The adage says when you own the money, when the money is your own money, not an organization money, you are sitting on it thinking that it's your money. Now you see what the, the, the kind of things they are telling people. They are telling people that maze Chike Dozim is, is just a, a what exactly what he did to this idiot who's in Abu Zik of Africa. Why Zik of Africa is parading himself as a ceremonial president and Tafawa Belewa or something was the one that gave him charge. That is exactly what this idiot is telling us. We that we are learned people and thinkers in this new new century that we are. You are telling me that a finance now is above, a superior to, to, to the head of the Directorate of State. And our leader have stated all these things. When he make an a, a, a draw board, he share it, we share it, a draw board. Martin Nam can wish him for this 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 till the end. When that is George Wish for is there. Now you understand what I'm saying. Now let us listen to now. You see this thing that I'm saying now. I want us to also go to South Africa. You will now confirm what I'm telling you, people. Now pay attention. Let me put my number, but don't call. Don't call. Oh, I have to finish. I have to finish my. Uh, I have to finish this thing before you call. Forty nine. Five. One. Just one minute. Let me find my number very well so that I will not make a mistake. You will call. I say you will call. You will call. 
Just one minute. I'm coming to play the one in South Africa. Then you understand what I'm saying. Two, one, five. Five, six, six, uh, two. Two, one, six, three. Uh huh. This is my number here, but um, you have to wait. Don't call now. I I have something that I want to play out here. You will hear. You will hear. You will hear. You people will hear it <clears throat> now. This is what is happening in South Africa. IPOB. Yes. One family. Pay attention one here. family. IPOB. Yes. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in this uh, noble Western Cape IPOB family meeting. Okay. Happy Thursday to all of us. All right. May I have the privilege to bring briefings, briefings. of the outcome of the meeting we had with Mazi Kanonta Kanu yesterday. Are you evening. listening as a leader now? Pay my attention. name is Mazi Kenzaki Ekebuise okay. from Western Cape Strand Unit. Okay. In attendance in the meeting yesterday night were the people from Pretoria. Yes. People from Johannesburg. Lies, lies. Other yes. units and lies. we in Western Cape were in attendance. It was a very, very good meeting. You can say it's not there. And none of his representatives. Because, there. <coughs> can yeah. you use Zoebo? Because Ibo. we are not coming to Ibo. Now that meeting, yes. Mazika non Takano with a from our leader. He bring message from our leader. Did they chair the meeting? As some How? people may argue, as a member of DOS or representative of the DOS, instead, you what the Ranibu owes direct message from our leader, Mazinam de Kanu. He brought a message direct. It's a bureau. He brought a message direct from Onyendu. How? When? Does he mean that he traveled to Zoo? Let us begin to use our brain. And I hope the leadership are paying attention. Let us listen. A DSS dungeon. From DSS. Let oh, Zoo is the Okay. To some people who are going to argue, why Kanonta? No. Kanonta is the one He didn't represent uh, DOS or Srokwa Niyabu as an as a officer in the DOS or something like that. Iho zira anye bo na awali damazi nam de ka no no ma ara megida ne megida ndi Western Cape. Are you listening? That every action taken against Western Cape that he mazi nam de ka no is quite aware of them. Yes. However, he mazi nam de ka no. Yes. Say that we shouldn't capitulate. Capitulate. Eh, uh, anas wo ibo capitulate. That we uh, we remain and maintain the status quo. Yes. Okay. That we shouldn't be distracted by all the shenanigans from here, left, right, and center. They should continue. That Nayama yeni na yena kapi kana ndi wazoni na na abamba ne menka menka. The guy is saying in a sense that the S Bureau, King's S Bureau, brought a message direct from Onyendu to them. That Oyenu said that they should continue. Now he's talking about the leadership which Mazi Shike Dozem is in charge. In a sense that the Mazi Namdekano said that everything they are passing through, he knows about it. That all of you that they were expelled, you should continue, you shouldn't mind the leadership. That is the message that he said. That the Mazen Nam the cannot send this bureau to, to give to them. Are you paying attention? You know, there is a question that I want to ask because, of course, I know that all this thing is just a fabricate and concord stories. But the question is does it mean our leadership are not working again? Who is says the bureau now to bring a message? Did he travel to zoo? Let us continue. That he is not in support of it. He's not in support of it. No, more on your right, each or any member of IPUB, whatsoever the person, may whatsoever the grievances or the hatred you may have on a member of IPUB, you want to write each or anybody. 
Anyi me bi hai ne me as ndi onwe ri he basara. Onwe ro nje chunga atu mwa anyi. Ones ya mwa bu lida omera approva. In as much as he, our leader, didn't approve the sacking or suspension of anybody, that Kaifu Mwanya has been not for IPOB, but for career and demands now are actually. Okay, for you. That he has any name that you to career and demands himself. Okay, for you. They are afraid to call him. So that he is happy with us. He has been named Kanone Ekwu, not Kanonta. Named Kanone Ekwu. So the guy confirm also himself that is Mazen named Kanone that is speaking. He is one that saying this. From his mouth, but they have confirmed and authenticated that his Mazen Namdekan is speaking. This is the question that we are going to ask. You see, why I'm putting all these things here is a question that we are going to ask Onyendu. Onyendu said, Mazishike does him everything, anything that he says goes. Mazin Zurumike called you on telephone. You must return the call. And when he speaks to you, he buys a baka baka, they will remove you and nothing will happen. Now, this guy is telling me, the South African people are telling me now that Maz, because in a sense of what they are saying, is like they are telling us that Mazin Nam, they can't have rejected his leadership. This is exactly what they are saying here. If you don't get it, you have to get it. We say things the way it is and down the consequences. He said, Onyendu said, he know their pains. They should continue doing what they are doing. They shouldn't look back at all. That they don't have power to remove anybody or expel anybody except Mazen Namdekano. That those people that they are expelling them, they are doing more greater work than them. They shouldn't listen and they should continue. That is why I'm putting this for record purpose. When Onyendu will come out, we are going to play it. And all the name they are calling, we are going to say, that is when we ask Onyendu, <laughs> so does it mean that you give all this power to these people? At the same time, bringing a message to what we don't know if it's... For me, of course, I know that it's, you know, all this thing is just a cock and boo story, but we have to say things the way it is. Because a lot of people have buy this nonsense idea. They have already walloped in this idea that somebody will tell you that Mazen Namde cannot have overlooked his leadership. That uh, uh, and the man, oh, <laughs> and they have forgotten that when Usho Kaf from F4, the idiot Usho Kaf from F4 was there, he is the one that removed all those who mew them. He is the one that removed them. That is why I'm telling you people, the reason is they are so shocked that Mazishike Dozem is in that position. And the little did they know, we are here to support Mazishike Dozem from the beginning. One if he gave me. There is a president and vice president. Let us continue. It's double. My own. Nobody should panic. Yes. Nobody should uh, should slumber or slack. Us no slumber. No retreat. No surrender. Us any day. Apora. Any poria. Ni aga abia kwa. Okay. No mozi any more any day. Is garama azin nam de kano. Any zie ya. No zie wange ruma azin nam de kano. Oh yeah, but immediately. So my brothers and sisters, that is the synopsis of the meeting we had yesterday. So I call on other members. My salute to our leader here, who is Mars in Australia. You are a very good commandant. Okay. Nobody will see you. Okay, listen to the second one. IPOB, one family. Okay. IPOB, one family. One biggest family, IPOB. Oyenegu uh, Mazi Oyenegu na Anoliefo, aka Etekodon, PRO, Western Cape. Uh, in summarization of Ife, Aina Mazi Kanunta, Kanu, Uzi Obutelai, mm -hmm. yesterday. Who? From who? Almost every member of executive, you know, including other provinces, including Kanu, Mebu, Mebu, they are executive. 
just as our spokesperson woman as a Kenzaki strand unit uh, coordinator said and this is the word from the mouth of Canon Takano now our leader the, there is an order you see even though this one trying to compose himself he tried to compose himself like this is order from this person to Onyendu. You see, some of our people, if, if you listen to what the other one was saying, he said, yes, this is, how do you know? How? How can you prove it? How? How? Let us listen to this one, because this one, it seems that he's trying to compose himself. He don't want to double into things that he don't know. So that is why he will say, this is the one that brought the message to us, to only do set. Daily, daily. And then we shall say national coordinator and coordinator. And we all know that Nakano Takano will the right to give order in IPOV. So that an order came that we should keep doing what we the are doing. The order came that we should remain in the status quo. Uh, square. Status quo. Status <laughs> That we should remain in the status quo. Status quo. Just as it was before he left, that we should remain where we are and keep doing what we are doing. Yes. This is an order. Yes. For and who? we know Canon cannot give an order. So here now, you who is giving the order now? We are at the right place. Okay. And then uh, our leader man about what is happening. Uh, Kaiji CK. Maybe in India, no one have one back. Kawali daga putana. Na India, they are subject to where you can one day gota. Na if India ne mekwa, na brosi IPO bin kefa joiner. Kahano zinaya. Aina yeshineke one day one day God do to her. Anya me pen dem madu. I matter is you is you kwe ma yeshino rupo I mulo mai. Koma na imu mu shineke. All right, now now you will hear the voice of National Family IPOB. Now you are going to hear the voice of National Coordinator Mazio Gechukwisu. You see, the second person that just we just listened to now his voice. Uh, this guy, I, I will tell you something. The guy have a little bit sense. He reason a little bit because he don't want to double into his shoe that he knows that. He's not sure if it's true. That is why he was saying, this man brought the message to us. And we know that it's not in leadership. He used just a little bit sense. But the first person was saying that, like, it's true. Whatever this guy says is authentic. <laughs> I, uh, our people go and learn and understand how things work. Don't just double into issue you don't know. That is why you see me. I have gotten to that point that I cannot just come out here and begin to lie to our people. I will bring the voice, you listen to the voice, before I will speak on the voice. That's what makes me unique. I don't like to be talking, talking, talking. And you see all this thing, they are calling me the names, it's also their voice. I use their voice, not me. I don't make it up. It's your voice. And I hope when they were saying all this thing, you listen to their name. Now let us listen to the coordinator of South Africa, my good brother. And he's doing well. You will see how a learned person sounds. I'm not talking about the English, but you will see how he will compose himself. Then you will know that by speaking English does not mean that you are a learned person. No. It's how you put, you know, how you compose yourself and how you made your statement. That makes you a learned person. Forget about you are speaking oral English. It's just a reason. Who cares about the leader English? We don't care. Just be able to compose yourself and make a, you know, you know, trying to, you know, trying to put your statement in order. Now, let us listen to by fire by force. Good afternoon, fellow comrades. My name remains Ogechukwisu, your servant at this point in time as your national coordinator. Why at this point 
in time because he understood things never last forever. Things never remains forever. At this point, you say I will not go. <laughs> I will stay here. I'm not going anywhere. Now you turn it to your father's property. Now you understand what I'm saying. I'm not occupying any position. But I don't know why they will tell you, oh boy, your time is over. No. <laughs> if you are not getting anything, why do you want to remain there forever? Why? We are in Kwasai. We are not in democracy. Now you understand. Okay, please continue, please. One name. Namo, continue. I always use this point in time or this particular time as the case may be. Yes. It's because... Nothing in IPOB is permanent. You're right, my brother. No position in IPOB is permanent. You're right, my brother. I can be calling myself coordinator now. The next moment, I am not coordinator. Oh, 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 oh. That is why people like us, we never protest even for a single minute when we are relieved of our duty. Yes. Even if we lied against, we will say thank you and they gradually explain the real story to people, not to fight to be in the position because this is really a very hard work indeed. How can you be fighting to be doing the work you are not even paid? People like us are only doing it because people are there in the bush, people are dying every day and uh, it is will be irresponsible not to accept any responsibility which the people deem consider you fit. To handle that is by the way so I haven't introduced myself yes. and, uh, making this illustration i would like us to listen to these two voice notes we have already listened to it here. uh that is a uh, canon uh, Kano, i don't know what is the name the result of uh, what canon is doing in south africa okay. because when these people are you know insisting and they proving this strong head in as much as they are also taking advantage of it to uh, their personal selfish gains. Uh, I used to ask myself, what is really giving these people this uh, power? I don't know that uh, <laughs> our leader's uh, cousin, not even brother, because uh, our research says that uh, his name is not even this canon. The canon is right. just a uh, right. name. I don't know there's a, a name they call him. So, I won't say you that. Will him to court, I just want us to reach him. This group of people Kanota is having meeting with yes. are people who didn't even didn't attend our leaders' uh, protest. Okay. Most of them don't. Even this final one we went to uh, uh, Russia, that was one of the best, if not the best, protest we have ever had in the history of IPOB South Africa. Did you see them there? The answer even is the Pretoria, who is the host. Uh, host unit, did you see them there? Oh, no, know. these are people that are claiming that they are fighting for uh, Nandi Kano's release. You don't go. The same thing happened here when we went to Kenya Embassy, we went to British Embassy here in Germany, we went to Belgium. They are nowhere to be found, they are nowhere to be found. Now you understand my pains. Let us continue to protest for him. You don't go to protest for him simply because you hate Ogechukwu Isu and his executive. Is Ogechukwu Isu the one you are protecting to come out from prison? No. The answer is no. Invariably, you will see that these people, they know what they are doing. Of course they it's know. just that they are opportunists yes. that uses every opportunity to their own advantage. Sure, sure. Okay, I haven't said that again. Uh, I want you to listen to just yourself, by yourself. So Nandi Kano is now messaging, uh, telling, uh, giving Kano instruction from DSS to, to tell IPOB South Africa. Even the people that believe this, I never know that our people can be so they are that unreasonable. Hey, what are you talking about? I don't know. So Nandi Kano now tell you that... Uh, I want you people to know that you see this Biafran restoration project have already make us to understand that a lot of our people, 
they cannot reason. A lot of our people cannot just understand the common letter they wrote, I mean, they put on a black board. They can't even think about it at all. You know, when, when I was growing without this Biafran restoration project, we are doing business and we are doing well in business. I always think that, ah, because we are doing well in business, that we, we, we know my, our people knows nothing. That is why Fulani are controlling our people today. That is why our people will have a problem with their own person. But the Fulani will do something. They will settle it. They will go, please. A Yoruba man, you go, please. Their own, they will say, continue, Mars, please. I want to uh, he doesn't recognize. IPOB structure again. Yeah. He doesn't recognize the US again. Let me go it back. It is now canon that he is doing. It's just that there are opportunists that uses every opportunity to their own advantage. Okay, I haven't said that again. Uh, I want you to listen to just yourself. By yourself. So now the canon is now messaging, uh, telling, uh, giving canon instruction from DSS to, to tell IPOB South Africa. Even the people that believe this, I never know that our people can be so unreasonable in reasoning. I don't know. So now they cannot now tell you that uh, he's, uh, he doesn't recognize IPOB structure again. That is he doesn't what they are recognize saying. US again. That is what they are saying. It's now Kanonta that is passing message. To. Exactly. Kanonta exactly. is just making his exactly. business. Exactly. That is what he said. Yeah. Of foolish people eating their money. What me anywhere? If he says it's wrong, uh, let him come and prove me otherwise. Hey, oh. These are people who. You mean I'm? Who, who came for a different thing? Mars, okay. From the you mean I'm saying that like he's come and How can okay. somebody with his reasonable mind believe these things? This uh, 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 this Western Cape, uh, 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 this uh, suspended Western Cape, are uh, saying here. They gather. If I tell you that these people make calls from the back, they have gathered Johannesburg also to join their clique. But the fact remains that the whistle, the referee, the whistle has been blown. The match has started. We have just done what we are supposed to do. To, so that uh, not tomorrow somebody will say that they were not warned. Let us see how it's going to end. Okay, we are, we are not fighting anybody, as I always say. Good. Underline it. We are. But we must we make are. sure that we protect. We protect the name IPOB. Yes. As a registered entity, yes. as a recognized registered entity. You are right. You are right. By yeah. the government of uh, this country. Authentic. We must have to give it every right it deserves. Yes. As a, such an entity. Yes. So that is exactly what we are doing. Whatever that comes along with it, it is uh, none of our business. Yeah, we uh, you know, it is none of our business. Yeah, so we well. let nobody blame anybody Nobody's blaming on the anybody. cause of this process we have embarked on. And we are not going to stop at anything. Maybe that time, Kanonta will come from Germany to come and uh, assist them. On the consequences of their behavior, <laughs> I am also going to send proofs yes. of uh, what uh, the Johannesburg people, of which myself personally, yes. I'm demanding for the refund of my money because I also paid money into that account. Okay, about four months monthly dues okay. I transferred from my account okay. to that uh, to that their account, which they haven't, you know, submitted to the rightful place. So I'm also, four months, I personally, we want to have my money back. Four months your own and four months for the others because they are many. They never uh, put the money where. Nkaho, beve garaga, amaro kwa mo, ono ga kwa wae mo, osuko, osuko. And, uh, you know, put it in the right place where it will be accounted for. Uh, while I'm doing that, on my personal capacity, Yes. Uh, then the law will still take its course on uh, them, you know. So that is just what I want us to say. Okay. I'm going to send you people proof of all these things because when it will, when it will be going, okay. to, for people to stop, not to be talking nonsense because I call it nonsense because every time everything you're going to talk then is going to be 
absolutely nonsense. So you have proof. They won't much in it. <laughs> Share this voice note to every platform. Now Share he said it to like every platform. platform. He said that I should. You know? Share it. Any coordinator that doesn't share it uh -huh. in their platform will be looking the person as one of them okay. who is destroying IPOB South Africa. Though they cannot destroy it, okay. even if one million of them times one million gather together, okay. they cannot destroy IPOB South Africa. Okay. They are just you know digging their own grave, making their own end very disastrous. They can't destroy it. They haven't given birth to them. Thank you. Thank they you. will. You, you people heard it. He said that we should share it. He said that we should put it everywhere. That is why I am here. And they are still calling me. And I will answer them. They want to come again with proofs. You know, I don't deal with that proof. If you cannot be able to present your proof, I don't deal with those kind of things. I have gotten to that position that you cannot just come to tell me something and I will begin to parade it. Of course not. I will ask you for the proof. And you have listened to it. And he said he has proofs. Very soon they are going to come again. With the proofs, we are going to publish everything. I have told them for you to left those that you're supposed to deal with is me, the Bia franchise the watch neck. That people have came to me time with that number to buy me off. And I said no. And I can't. Now you turn back now telling me that my leg is like a nshi. I think this brother said that you want to call. Are you still there? Can you call now? Please, if you can call I want people to call and just give, uh, if I can be able to pick three or four people, five people, it will be okay. Can somebody call? Who is this person that said that you want to call? Are you opposition? I want you to call. And uh, you have to call. I don't think that uh, you are telling me that you want to call me in the middle of my broadcast. You know that it cannot be possible. That is why our people have to also pay attention. Whenever somebody is doing broadcast, don't just call. You have to wait. Till I done with my broadcast. Then you will learn more. Now are you there to call? Okay, he's calling. Good. Uh, Bill, I said, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this is my brother. No, I'm. Hello, Miles. Do you know I'm, I'm live? Okay. You, you want to contribute? Yes. Oh, no, ma. 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 Oh, Oh yes, um, wonderful people of Biafra, I greet all of you. And um, those that are watching, the listening us, I am also sending my regards today to all of you. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, our job is to wage war. And we have been waging war. Um, and this war we have been waging, we are not shying away from it. We will continue from every angle. Uh, last time, it was... Um, combined with the Nigerian government and at the same time a group that felt that they have a platform. But you never introduce yourself, brother? You never introduce yourself, brother? Uh, I still remember Matthew Sela, one name Matthew Sedek. That is me. Um, speaking from the beautiful city of Vienna, Austria, to be precise. And um, I am a very humble servant of this uh, noble family. And um, we are not tired of waging war. In fact, we are looking for more. We are looking for more. We will continue supporting the leadership of this struggle while also asking them to react to these so many uh, shenanigans that are going everywhere in this struggle because this of many of them have no job. They have no job. So that is yes. why you see them, everybody, they are creating problems where there is no problem. And even they have job, they have meaningful employed. They will be minding at least not every 24 hours. They are looking eyes into money, going to countries that contribute a lot of money. Because I know where, why they go to South Africa. They have seen that uh, South Africa have population. And these, they are these people are making money. Mazi, these people are making money in South Africa. If they tell you how much these people are pushing every day, you won't believe it. You will not. I know. I know. I know. So that is why Canon Takano is junketing everywhere they have a group number of IPOB, they always go there to put problem and at the same time to channel that uh, money to be coming to their own direction. 
Uh, like I said, we are equal to the task. We are not tired and we are not going to tire. The only time we'll be tired is when we enter into our grave. Because yes. we have sworn to uh, defend this struggle to the last. We will continue defending the leadership. I just want to make it clear to so many of them that are watching. Mazen Namdekan is not the only leader we have. And Mazen Namdekan is not the only person that we will respect. You're right. If it's in this struggle, right. if it's in, if in this struggle, that is only Mazen Namdekan is the person we should respect. I will not change the struggle. You're right. Uh, respect is a reciprocal. The, the law, the law that young man has is because he's not a direct brother of Mazen Namdekan. That's the law. And even he's the brother. Uh, Medusa will have come out in his own form to begin to tell many of you that yes, this struggle um, is not for family business, but this is not a family member, this is an adopted child. So he's an infiltrator from outside, and we're going to treat him like we treated others that have come and gone. Now, let me go straight to the point. Um, I want you to send me that clip because I'm, I, I'm hearing when they said they, they should make it go viral. We need to wait, 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 wait. I will send it to you. I will. Uh, after you after you push it to me and the uh, and the mazi mazi metu before you continue uh you know that uh one dibia able on her phone i will send you yes. also a video because after that thing that he did he went to go and collect his money they are paying him now i will send it to you i will send it to you continue all right all right all right all right so so um kano takano is nobody um like um i listened to the clip you just played i think uh, for a couple of minutes ago uh, he said, Mazen Nam, the kind of should say that they should continue. And he them and all the hammer. Yes. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking. I was thinking that they said Mazen Nam, kind of have never eaten for a complete one week. That's his sick. I don't know. So now, so now he's not even bothered about how he's going to come out. He's not bothered about his health. What he's saying is they should continue. He had them and all the hammer. Can you, can you not you see the gullibility of our people? Lunatics everywhere. Our people are, our people are so gullible that they can fabricate a story. And tell them that all of them will swallow it. Yes. And when you see them walking on the street, you you think that human beings are walking. They are not human beings. So these are the things that make me to be so hard when I'm treating about these people that have no mentality. And some people will think that I'm I'm too hard on them. I know what I'm crying because if you can be able to reason very properly, I tell you nobody will deceive each other in this struggle. When you want to lie, we know you are lying. When you come out and say, Master Namekano said. The one they call Master Prophet travel home. Did anybody see him in Abuja? No, no, no. How? how? Do, 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 so, even the video he's releasing as he came back to Jam is after he must travel and come back to Jam. Oh, of course, now. Oh, they say, oh, they say, so that you're going to make a make a make a make a very much more. You can't worry, you can't worry. I see you. So, 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 brother, these are the things I want our people to know. Like I said, uh, my, my dear friend, let us tell ourselves the truth. These are these people are not problem. You know, we have fought the one that is a war. Of we course, fought war. Of course, of course. We fought those that have platform, those that are being supported. I told, and, I told them the reason why, Mazi, I'm sorry. I told them the reason why uh, this time around is different. It's not like 2015. Now they have their arsenal to, to battle us, but we have won the battle. Mazi, continue, please. Yes, so, 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 so let me just wrap up so to allow other people to come in. Yes. Um, in summary, in summary, uh, here she warm, uh, here she warm, but um, I will not also shine away to continue reminding the leadership this is a slap on oh, our face, oh, a slap on the on the members of this struggle. I'm telling you the reality. Some of you may not know that Methuselah, I am saying it for the first time on air. My the, the reason uh, the the place IPOB is doing meeting here in Vienna is as a result of my woman because the mother. Is a, a a very a very renowned artist in Oboda. They you gave see. us that place to be holding our meeting because of that. You see, uh, I never say give me money. Yeah, yeah. I never begin okay. to show give me money. Yeah, we're not gonna yam. As somebody that used the connection to get a very big place. And uh, and the mass mass of Ukandin Zama had a mere in a way that uh, you are paying and you be cornering the money. This is how it is. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. So, so, uh, brother, uh, even as I'm speaking to you now, I'm just coming back from work. I know. Uh, I've just got I know. Back from work. And uh, in, a, in a couple of hours, I will still talk to my people because we're not going to get tired on this. We'll continue exposing them. We can. And at the same time, this big problem we have, which is Nigeria government. That I remain good. blessed, and um, I want to thank all the others that are listening. And um, I continue blessing everybody. Give us the courage for us not to, uh, you know, to slack or to, to withdraw from this fight. He thank said. you, brother. I will thank send you, brother. everything to you. I will send everything to you. Thank you very much, right. my brother. Thank, right. you. thank right. you. Thank right. you. Right. I am waiting. Some people can also call. Just one minute. I think my kids are back. I need some people to call, please.
Am I having a call? Who is the person that told me that you want to call me before? Where is him? Kebon on our boss. If you have a name, I will block you. I will block you. Because you have to allow me to finish my program. You have to allow me to finish my program. You, have to allow me to finish my program. you cannot just come here. But I, at the same time, my brother have uh, spoken. And uh, I get every of his point. Uh, we are not going to stop on this Biafran restoration project because we have already vowed that on this quest of self-determination, Either Biafra or Biafra. We will keep on pushing till Biafra is totally rest out. And the Mazen Nandikan will be free where he is. We know the reason why, okay, somebody is calling. Somebody is calling. Somebody is calling. Uh, people, I'm having a lot of people. Anybody that call me, I will call him back. Hey, if you call me, I will call you back. Don't worry. Uh, you have three minutes, my brother, please. Are you opposition or you just want to contribute to this uh, wonderful program? Continue. <laughs> How can I be opposition? And then one day, one day, so, continue. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Mazi, I remember this one. Mazi, thank you for that child. You are doing, you are doing well. Thank you for a good work. Yeah? Um, <coughs> you see the, this clip you play? It's a um, uh, second person. They call his name, I said, it's a BRB, right? Where Western, Western came. You know? There's something, there something he said there. When he said um, that is one day, he said one day, those of them that follow him, that one day they will just, other people will understand that the people they are following are actually working against the release of our leader. Yes. As in the other people that, that is not. We now, we, Mazi, call it, Mazi is we, Mazi, Mazi, hold on. Yeah. You will continue. When they say in other people, which is yes, Mazi we. Chike, you don't say Mazi Shina Samoru, yes. Mazi or Fong, yes. and we, the media warrior, and every indigenous people of Biafra. That is where, because I'm saying things the way it is. I will say things the way it is. Yeah. Mazi, continue. Yeah, yeah. What he means, he said, he said that we that are we that, that following the, the, the US. Yes. We, 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 that, we let us understand that the US is working against the rules of our leader. Exactly, what, what exactly, exactly. That means, that means, it's simply that, that means they are autopilot. They are, they, it means that they are autopilot. They I are. Mean they are autopilot, you're right. Yeah, so, so any of them that is, that, that still remain in the family, must just so they are, it's not, this statement shows they are, they are autopilot. Uh, Mazi, all of them they have a, they are not part of us again. That is why they are Haji you know, Anuni they are not part of us again. They can okay. never be part of us. And now, okay, now, and uh, I want to the question I want to ask them is this: they they, they do they do meeting they need meeting they need meeting with who? Which of the canon the canon? Which these people they are they are they want want to try to tell us that they don't know. That is thank you for the question you are asking. Ask them. You have 30 seconds, You have 30 seconds, Ask them question. Ask them. Okay, okay. Okay, let me talk about it. You know, uh, they, uh, they also say that the uh, uh, that they are, they, they are, uh, what I've been mean, saying is superior to, to the leadership. <laughs> <laughs> I will call everyone. Uh, Mazi, round up, round up, round up. These people are very, I, I tell them very good. <laughs> Imagination. Why, you know, you know, what my, and the problem I have is, I, I, I have a problem with the leadership. They are too, they are too slow to, to act. If you want to call, I'm not going to be doing this. Mas, thank, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mas. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, everybody with three, three minutes, please. If you call me, I will call definitely. I will return your call. Let me call this one the first call. And uh, some of you that are calling the other phone, you don't have to call the other phone. The one I put here, no, you don't call the other phone. Why should you call? You don't see the number that I put there. I put number on the screen, isn't it? Mazi, three minutes, please. Okay, we are French side, watching again. I salute you. General. I salute you. Oh, 
I'm the one calling. Okay. Just a minute, I see it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. I just want to let these guys, those guys, those guys that I said talking. I can't understand that I'm giving them mind to do what they are doing. I want them to know that in the code of conduct, that code of conduct, our leader say what? Whoever that GK doesn't say, step aside. Most you have to aside. step aside. He said it. He you said don't it. Have any, you don't have any push. If they are good people, what they will do? I don't know what. why are they dragging position in IPOB. I want to tell, I want to say it on air today. Do you know in my own unit, they elected me to be a secretary. Our coordinator said no, that I will not be. I go. I congratulate the person they give the secretary. Good. Does he stop come to IPOB? Mars, do you know? Mars, let me answer your question. This thing, you, you just make a statement at the same time is a question. I know you will not understand the angle that I want to go. The reason why I call it a question is that why you congratulate that your brother that become the secretary is because you see that you are not going to gain anything. And it's not this thing you are doing is voluntarily. You see all those people, they will tell them to go and they will remain there. There is something behind it. Continue, Martin. There is something behind it. You are right. I support the secretary. I contribute my voice, my knowledge, and my everything. Because I know to take a position in IPOB is not a small thing. I want to let people know. It will stop you. It will distract you for a lot of things. You will not even have time on your own again. Because every day you will be in meeting. In a week. Two times or once in a week. It's something. You will not have time for your family again. I thank my God that very day for the knowledge and the understanding that God put into me. People think that I will be angry. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I never come angry for one second. I hug every person there and go and still support the coordinator even up to today. Even up to today we are here speaking. So if the TK doesn't ask you to step aside, you step, step aside and support him. You step aside. When our leader come out, Yes, when our leader come out, why yes. your complaint? Oh, this is how it's supposed to be. Take your complaint. And our leader have said this thing. He said, if they ask you to go, does not mean that you are not the best. I don't go know. and stay. I don't they will know. still call you back and give you another position. God know. bless you watching again. Thank you very much. Is just wasting time. Thank you very much. But, yeah. With your time. Thank you very much. They, they, my brother used his time. Let me call somebody that called me again. Those of you that are calling on the other line, why should you call in the other line? For what reason? I have put out number here. I think, um, is this thing, this person called me. Let me call him. I think he's here, also here in Germany. Hello? Hello? Yeah, you want to contribute, right? Yes, my brother. Yes, the floor is yours. Three minutes, please. Good. Okay. Um. Please. Um. I still want to take us a little bit back to what uh, the discussion about uh, Soludo and what he said All right. about Namdekano. All right. So, um, every one of us knows Soludo for not being a serious person. And uh, yes, somebody, anybody can be right if you say it's a political statement or something. But all the same, we are evils. Um, uh, as no guy, I don't know who I am. No guy, on her. Let us all use what he said to hold him accountable, even though we know he is not serious. He is not to be taken serious. So the best thing, the best thing for us to do is instead of criticizing him or wasting our energy trying to call him names or whatever. Let us hold him accountable for what he said. Okay. Least, oh, okay, Mas, 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 just hold on. Uh, I want you to understand this. Uh, you are saying your opinion, and the, this is an advice. Um, yeah. I will tell you that uh, in my own path, I never criticized Soludo, and I don't think anybody can criticize Soludo. I said it even though on my uh, short video, 
I said so Ludo by saying that uh, is also something because none of these governors have said something like that. But when I have a enough, problem, enough. when I have a problem with Soludo in that my mm. quick video, and I said I don't want to get angry. That is why I cut that place off. When Soludo said they he will shorty for Mars in Nam anytime they need him, he's going to give them back. That is when I have a problem with Soludo. It's not what he said. He cannot say he something said, like that. Said, he said, I can, I can even, I can even, it's not a straight statement. I, I can, can even, that means if the, if the law allows it, which the law cannot allow. Yeah, but uh, before he make that statement, does he mean that he don't know that first he cannot even as a governor shut anybody? Does he mean that he don't know? And uh, according to the lawyer, you see where Soludo make that statement. He also let us know that this is not the place Soludo is supposed to make this statement. He know where he's supposed to go. Uh, but that is not the problem for my own sake or for my own thinking or understanding. I know that Soludo is using that as a political ambition, what he wants to achieve tomorrow. For me, it's nothing. But Mazi, I want you to conclude, please. Just give your statement and uh, let us... Uh, okay, the next thing I wanted to chip in there is this. Um, the, with this struggle, we've come a long way. Sure. And uh, it's quite so bad that at, at this critical time, our leader has been kidnapped. Yes. Had he been, he was, he was, he was, he has been, he was around. Things would have been in a different shape. Yes. But all the same, uh, we don't give up like that. We can never. And the only way we can make that, we can prolong the lifespan of that man who is in the dungeon, is to try to be and be strong. Those things we learned from him. Those things he taught us all these years. We portray it now so that when he feels it in his spirit or when somebody goes there to tell him this is what is happening, he will sit up and drink water and that water will, will uh, energize him more. Yes. He don't need food to be energized. Yes. Yes. So let us put all sentiments aside and focus on the ball and say our main purpose, our main goal is to get this this freedom. In a, in a sense, uh, Mas, just wait. Uh, when you said... Let put uh, sentiment aside. What do you really mm. mean by sentiment aside? What I mean by sentiment is this: Yes, if we have all of us are brothers, yes, for sure, that. for sure, for sure. And if your brother is going astray, yes, and you feel he's going astray, sure, and you can meet him. Do you know what, what I like about Nam the Kalu? Yes, until he was kidnapped, he has never come out openly to criticize anybody. Before Nam comes out to criticize you, he must have talked to you inside and nobody knows it maybe for long and if you don't want to listen he will not come once and say i am going to make it public and after that statement he will not talk about you again yes he, did, he didn't fight with uchema for even what uchema for did he kept it people were trying to push me uh, let, let, let me let me correct you there let me correct you there you know okay, um okay. there are some things our people don't even understand on this struggle or in this struggle i mean yeah. to say um when you say that Mazin Namde can never criticize anybody, he have to talk to that person, he have to study the person or talk to him on the ground before he does that. I want to tell you, Mazin Namde cannot criticize people. He's my leader. I followed him a lot. And let me go to Ushu Kafomefo. Do you know the reason why Mazin Namde can never mention Ushu Kafomefo? Because we are on Ushu Mefo. We are, the media warriors are on him. Have you call, have you seen during the time that people are doing broadcasts about Ushime for saying a lot of things about him, saying the way he's coming to destroy the struggle? Have Mazin Nande can come on broadcast and tell the media warrior to shut up? Have he does did he do some something like that? That is why that shows that not every issue Mazin Nandekar is going to double into. There is some issue that he will allow those people that have learned from him. To carry it on so that he will have chance to be doing other things. That is why Mazin Nandi can come out, begin to mention okay. people's name. You see this issue of Eberima today getting upper hand. When Mazin Nandi can was calling Eberima, it was not calling him that is a uh, overall because of the exposition. He wants somebody to help him. Mazin Nandi can mention my name more than any other media warrior. Why he was doing that for me to also help, not help him, all, but help our people. But some of our people have taken this, uh, you know, advantage, thinking that the Muslim can call them to come and take position. So 
Mazi, some things that you see Mazi Namgan don't mention because he have people that will help him to do so. That is why. Thank you, Mazi. Um, okay. I think um, I'm going to stop here. Um, mm -hmm. I or do you want to ask anything again? Or you want to contribute? I think it's enough. We you have already used six minutes, please. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you for contributing. Contributing. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wonderful people. I don't have any call again. And um, I know sometimes some of our people, those that just joined this struggle, new, they can't even understand the ethics of this movement. We have been here. I have been here. I have been broadcasting going to, going to, going to nine years that I have been broadcasting. I did not start here. I start with my normal Facebook before I go to the other one before I get to this position that I am today. So I did not start this broadcast today. I've been following Mazen Namdekan for a long time. I understand a lot of things. That is why I keep on telling people. I never... Okay. Uh, this brother, I don't know that you were calling. Sorry. I saw you, but I thought I have to... Uh, three minutes, please. Three minutes, please. Okay. Your brother, I called before, but uh, now because you don't have... Uh... Because I want to say something that Mazi, wait, Mazi, wait, Mazi, wait, Mazi, wait. Those people that are calling on this line, I put my number down there, call the number, go to Rapture Media. Okay, maybe some of them are watching through. Go to Rapture Media, go to Rapture Media, Mazi, contribute. It's okay. I don't know why they are calling. Okay, okay. I, I, want, to, I want to say something about Sululu Sulu, Sulu, you know. You know, um, Sulu took that Mazi Namdekan to the Rapture Media and uh, he said, you know, where as he said that uh, they should release the water to him. You know, as he want to shoot here. But you know, you know, Oju Sakalu, you know, Oju Sakalu first make the statement first. Eh, uh, like, okay, Oju Sakalu has also so made. Eh, okay, so I got it. Oju Sakalu, we have to put this Oju Sakalu to say this, say this. We arise, arise in the television. Oju Sakalu, that, say this, that's Oju Sakalu, in two days, so you don't say this. Mazi, 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 you see, when people say something, I don't know. Mazi, I would like you also. If you find that video, I would like you to also to send it. To I, I listen, I listen, I listen, I listen. I, 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 I watch it live, live, live. So, what you talking about? I watch it live. Okay. He said they should give him our leader. I will say, look, he will, he will, he will keep him in his house in Africa. Okay. Okay. And the uh, and the mass, did you have any of our lawyer come and make a statement that only do praise or Jose Carlo too? Okay, continue. I want to give so, you. But, but, I never, but I want to say something on on on, on, on Sulu Dogon. Now Sulu Do now state this. Okay, I'll put the statement. Now what they are trying to say is uh, the, the, our our leader. Uh, if you know, if if they release our leader to them, means that our leader is not free. You know, and uh, you know, you know, when they release somebody on on bad condition, that I means they will give some condition, and probably they will say that our leader will not leave Nigeria. You know, now we give we hand over the order to, to them and give condition. Uh, you will not leave Nigeria this and that. And but, you know, Mazi, you know, Mazi, 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 hold on, Mazi, hold on. Mazi, Mazi, hold on. Mazi, hold on. He said at first, but said bail as of Mazi. Ojo Zokalo said it first, but said yes. bail as of Mazi Namika was not discharged and they acquitted. They want to start an, a narrative to give governors soft landing. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody just uh, wrote what I just uh, read out now. Um, Mazi, okay. see what I'm trying to say in a sense. You know, when we, we don't have to go on, a, on this issue of bail condition. That is what, that, 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 that is where my, that is where my point is. My point is like, the appeal court have discharged this man. Anything that these people uh, are saying, they okay if they want to please. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. See, I tell you that now this is what they are trying. This, this is what they are trying. To do. Okay, okay. Tell so me, that tell me. Uh, so that they will give condition before they release our But we don't need that condition. Instead of them to see, instead of our to release on condition, it better he stay there because if our if they if our if they release our he will he will stay for Nigeria. He will stay in Nigeria because they will, they will, they want to kill him. Yes. So in the the listen, you must fly out. So now if they will give condition, if they listen on condition, means you will not leave Nigeria, they will give condition that you will stay. Yeah, for sure. So for sure. and this you see someone has caused the um, charges. I don't know where they where they, they, are, they are, where their mind is, what they are trying to do. So what are you trying to do? Is there someone that's caused and the charges is does he have you don't have any answer? Then you say you want to judge him for what? What case you want to shoot him for? Thank you, 
Thank you. Thank you. And now, I, and now, I, and now, because of this case, and the Saludo on, you know, you know, you 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 are asking which part Saludo support so that you will know if he's playing play, play, play politics, you know. Now, Saludo support uh, Atiku because Atiku promised promised them that he, after he, after he ruled eight years, you, you hand over to Saludo by then. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but now, no, no, but then I want to say, I'm coming. He uh, doesn't want to say, I'm coming. Now, um, Malami, I don't believe in that, uh, in that Saludo. Because Malami said son yesterday, yesterday again. Malami said that uh, uh, the asking about what Saludo said, he said that uh, he never got, he didn't get any, he didn't get the, this green code for his debt, as in he didn't receive a Saludo, this Saludo uh, request. You see? I that okay, is, okay. The the Anthony the Anthony Federal Federation yes. of uh, Malami yes. Nigeria yes. and the yes. Federation of Nigeria said that that statement of uh, Solu don't ever come on no, them. No. Okay. Never come to yeah, yeah. Never so come to yeah, but we go for it, go for it, go just to do it. No, yeah. is it? You see what's happening there now? Solu, maybe they they maybe they are the one that they're to do. You know, you know now, you know they are they are trying. To find the steps or something. Number, like please. You don't see the number. Mas, wait. You don't see the number. There is number on that line that you are calling. Now look at the down. You see the number there. IPOB Rapture Media. I pinned the number there. Callings. Ekimo. So now, you know, they are looking for a way. They are looking for a way to, to, you know, to clean their. Maybe they are not that. This is the thing so they say now. Shows that these people are. Uh, asked, uh, you know, a uh, president to, to do this to say to drop the statement, so that now it will it will look like it will look like the people are not begging for our 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 belief. Actually, now they're supposed to be the one, uh, you know, begging our leader, asking him what he want. Because now, like like this, now like I want to have this case, I want to have one the case. Okay. Now, federal government supposed federal government is the one to beg our leader, asking them, what do you want? How do you want to speak? What do you want to speak? They are the supposed to. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Randolph. They are not going to give the condition. They are not going to give out the condition. They will be able to give the condition. So what is your what you put left? They must do the this one. It's no longer there. What do you mean it's no longer there? Mazi, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me call this number. Thank you, Mazi. I think right. uh, this guy wanted to contribute. Let me just give him a, a time. Uh, what do you mean the number is no more? Uh, Malami said he is waiting for receipt from Soludo. He hasn't received the request receipt receipt from Onye, from Soludo. Okay, he haven't he haven't uh, received any request. Okay, it's okay. So that means that Soludo is there. Just uh, to, even though the lawyer himself have said it, where Soludo was saying all this thing was on a on a campaign ground where he was saying things that concern his uh, leadership in Anambra State. If Solo don't want to talk about Onindu, there is a place he will go. He will go and talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? Of course, we understand the game they are playing. I have said it before. I have said it time with that number. If you don't understand what I'm saying, that is why before you call, you have to start the program or everybody, anybody's program from the beginning so that you will know. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying that... Uh, what Soludo did is very bad, but I'm just saying it if you want to say something like he said it on a plain ground that he's pleading, he's begging for Mazen and they should release this man because the court of appeal have discharged him. Not to tell him to bring him. Do we shot him again? Do you want to shot him? So wonderful people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. I thank you all, those of you that are called. Those of you that are here and listening the, to this uh, wonderful uh, broadcast today, uh, like I said, I have vowed on this Biafran restoration, the number is no longer pinned. Eh? Okay, okay. Unpinned, let me unpin it. Wow. Uh, Ada, please. But I have to let me see how many hours I've used because, um, myself, I have uh, done for today. Because, um, um, you people already know that nobody pays me, you know, all this thing we are doing is uh, is volunteer, and that is why sometimes I feel angry when people don't want to understand the, what we are doing, you know. 
I have already used two hours. No, I will continue. It will be for another day tomorrow. I've already used two hours, 30 minutes. And I thank you all for being here today. Uh, we are going to continue. We are not going to stop. We have already vowed and we have already crossed the Rubicon. We are not coming back to Biafra is totally restored. We don't care what it may take from us or how long it will take, but we will keep on pushing. We will keep on pushing. I thank you all. May Shuko Kikabi bless our leader Mazin Namdi Okuchukano. Where he is today, of course, we all know this, that uh, why Bugari is doing all this thing, the man parading himself as a Bugari is because he don't want to take the shame. Of course, he don't want to take the shame. I know African people with their ego, you know, if it's an hero today, because as far as the, the court of law have already discharged all these uh, charges, they will release him. But because of our primitive and the, our way of thinking, uh, they will be saying, so Mazin and the will say all this thing and they want me to leave him. And you have forgotten that the law have said. That is our problem. And we know this is the, 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 the ego in these people that they are Fulanese, that they are in position this time around. I will pray for you, Mazin Namdi Okuchukukan. God will help you and protect you and give you that wisdom, light, and knowledge, and strength to withstand all these Luciferia that are coming from the pit of hell to, you know, disturb us or to try, I don't want to call it destruction because they could not, they cannot even shake the foundation. Talk less of getting there. And uh, we will keep on praying for you. I also pray for the wife of our lead, who she dear, why in a shemakadia, why in who dear and I'm cool, who why I'm a partner, dear and a tough when I open a bow, when I know do my anna, natural boss, dear Gabota. Chukuki Gabia Magaba woman, do be with Shabba woman, game homo, man game homo, Chukuki will help you and give you people the strength to be able to stand till the end time. I pray. And I also pray for the doors because the doors are wise. We must keep on following this struggle regardless what comes. Regardless our utterances. We must support this leadership lead by Mazi Chike. Those them in charge on absence of our leader. We must follow him all, whether they like it or We must too. <laughs> oh, Kaisi, amen, Kanye. Makaye, bo, isie, kum. We have come to stay and we are not going back. The whole Biafrans, you know, whenever I pray, I pray both people that they are uh, family member and those that they are not also family member. We are all Biafrans. What I'm trying to tell you people, that you people should support this struggle. Support it. Um, you don't have to be a family member, but make sure you support this struggle positively. Because we are fighting for Biafra to come. When Biafra comes, I'm not the only one that's going to live in Biafra land. All of us will go there and live. So that is why you have to support the struggle. Always make sure you support the struggle positively so that you will be, you know, your contribution will also be, you know, give impact on this Biafra restoration project. I thank you all. May Chukoki Kabama bless every one of you. As you have come to listen, and we must proceed. I thank you all. A woman of Val and Paul Jeshikan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I salute you all till we see you again.